Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolfenstein the Old Blood. We just got through the docks, and now we're in the uh, Wolfenstein Keith. There's two letters and eight gold here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh fuck. The old foyer was one of the most magnificent sections of the castle. This is where King Otto greeted important visitors to the castle. Man, this is one mean shotgun. Close arm clean off. Okay. That's ammunition. Oh yeah, this is where I got the armor. I think this is where I'm supposed to be, so I will go back. Around here. They really need to take care of this castle a lot more. Okay, so that down there just opens up. Okay. Anything on this side? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, 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 we'll go, we'll go. More of them? Alright. Is everyone done trying to kill me? I realized I could use this, but oh well. Shotgun works just as good. They're gonna keep coming until I kill everyone. There we go. 
Thank God, peace of quiet. Okay. Pick up everything that's nailed down. Ooh, more shotgun ammo. I'm sorry, shock hammer. Okay, that's where I gotta go, I'm betting. All right, time to uh, reach, retrace my steps, see if I miss anything. Okay, I came from here. Let's take this one. Excuse me, gents. Ooh. Unlocked the challenge. Nice. So Kessler's a bartender, huh? There's a gold right over there, I can see it. Well, I can't really stealth kill the heavy armor, guys. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I had no problem with this, you know, on New Order. Alright, that's one guy. Wait a minute, this the uh, stealth kill on the eagle eye. Okay, so it does count for um, when you shoot him, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Alright, stealth is out the window now. How was everyone? Is 
some armor. Is there like a no no shrapnel mode? Thank God, because the shrapnel mode, the bad guys using shrapnel mode just chew me up. Okay, where to? Oh. You mean I, I could just stayed up on the rooftops and just. Okay. Oh, wait, there's a easier way right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't believe it. Keiko Demon Plushy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this like a. This is Rudy's. This is Rudy's room. Where he's got a portrait of himself. Oh, letter. Dortmund. Norderheim Westfallen. January 6, 1946. Rudy, my sweet boy. I wish you could have taken the time to visit your poor old mother this Christmas. Maybe you were busy. What do I know? When you were little, you were such a good boy. Such a good son. I honestly feel, and maybe I should have told you this, that I was blessed to have had you in my life. I know your father could be cruel. Very cruel to you sometimes. But that's all in the past now, isn't it? That's not to dwell on such things. And besides, I was always there to nurse your wounds to starve off, stay, it's not starve off, stave off infection. So I think it's unfair of you to blame me for what he did. You know he only meant to correct you, and sometimes, frankly, it was all in his right to do so. While you were a good son most of the time, you could also be very, very bad when that dark mood fell upon you. I'm sure you understand why your father had to use his belt. My dear boy, you know how I fell upon hard times after your father died, and I had to send you away to your cousins in Frankfurt. Well, now that you are successful at the SS, I was thinking you could send me some money. I'm not asking for much, my dear, but it would ease the pain that comes with growing old alone. Your loving mother, Ingrid. Well, I can see why he threw it in the fireplace, because Jesus Christ. Uh, I honestly... I kind of feel bad for Rudy, even though he's kind of an evil motherfucker now. Wait, he said something about the... Is this the main plot point? Is this a... Oh, it's a secret area, okay. Oh, whoops. No from Scholar of King Otto. I've had the text translated for you, Frau Obersturm but fewer. Today I was a witness to the great battle of Lechfeld, with my Lord King Otto's army slaughtered more than 45 million vain Magyars. I have always enjoyed the dance of death. However, I've never seen anything like what I saw today. When the king sent his secret weapons given unto him by Almighty God into the battle, 
These great angelical war beasts blazed through the valley battlefield like holy dragons. They picked up the horses from the ground and tore them apart. They ripped off the heads of the Magyar soldiers. They crushed the bones of the enemies as if they were made of brittle wood. Inspecting the aftermath of the bell, I found that most of the Magyars were missing limbs, having torn in half, or having crushed to death. On a more worrying note, it seemed to me that a few of King Otto's chained beasts had opened pus filled wounds, even though I had never seen them take a hit from a blade or an axe. I put on further inspection. It looked as if their bodies were decomposing from some kind of unknown corruption. A curse, perhaps? I can almost see their tissue melting straight out the bones. I expressed these concerns to King Otto. What the fuck did they find? That actually scared the shit out of me. It was probably the dog upstairs. <laughs> no, from a scholar of King Otto. I have so far applied all of my skills to deciphering the confusing translation bestowed to me by the king's linguistic scholars. Many of King Otto's parchments were badly damaged, scorched by fire, and missing complete paragraphs that seemingly contained crucial information. Also, my work has been slowed down considerably by utterly dismal test conditions in these dungeons. However, during the last months, I have been making enormous strides in my research. The bodily fluid circulating within a human can be altered with an alchemical substance, which is partially described in one of the text fragments. In theory, I should be able to create a serum which can awaken dead tissue. This would allow wounded soldiers to be healed in the middle of a battle. However, as a fascinating side effect, one of the test subjects died from the alchemical compound, and when I went to pull the she over his body, he opened his eyes. The subjects have remarkably returned from death. Thus far, I've successfully brought five test subjects back to life. I have observed that subjects returning from death enter into a catatonic sleep-like state. Furthermore, the body temperature of the subjects increases dramatically. I have ever seen some of them spontaneously burst into flames from the accumulated internal heat. What the fuck? Another unfortunate side effect is that they become gripped by a murderous fringy which, never, which seems to never wane. The only way to permanently kill them seems to be by destroying the brain or hack them into little pieces. What are these, like demonic zombies? I have started calling them shamblers because of how they move. More experimentation is needed, and as soon as I get my reinforced straps for the dissection table, I shall attempt a vivisection on one of them. St. Wald Berger. Or Berger, sorry. What the fuck is going on? Okay, if I remember correctly from the, um, the old blood trailer that I saw long ago, that somehow zombies are going to be involved. So, I don't know. Alright, moving on. Helga's Diary, entry number 4, December. My god, how it's snowing outside. The stone corridors of this castle are freezing cold. I have to wear thick, warm socks every day. They're comfortable, but a terrible itch sets in after a while. Got back the translation of another passage from King Otto's Diary today. Very interesting. The king is grief-stricken after his wife, Queen Edith, died unexpectedly. He goes on to write about ancient fragments of parchments that have come into his position. He has posed most prominent scholars on the task of deciphering them. Despite not knowing their contents, he believes them to be a gift from God and that the Lord is telling him his destiny has become the Holy Emperor of Europe. Puzzling. It must have looked really special, these parchments. Or maybe it's the grief taking over, blinding him. Anyway, went to the wine cellar earlier today. Found a 1928 Bordeaux. Very good year, I've heard. I'm the taste. She really likes her wine. 
Castle Atrium. Alright. Oh, right, there was like. Yeah. There we go. Oh, great, more of this. Yep. All right. Two over. I'll just wait for them to, like, come over here, maybe. Yeah, 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 come on. Okay. As quiet as I possibly can. Okay. And that should be everyone, I hope. Okay, that's where I gotta go, so I now have this entire place to explore all by myself. Alright, let's see. on the tables. Nope. Nothing here. Can't read that for some reason. Can't go through there. What about this side?
nothing. Can't get over there, so... Alright. Guess I'll just go upstairs then. Wait a minute, is there like... No. Alright. Oops. That was stupid. <laughs> okay. I imagine... Well, what's down here? Can I... Yes, I can. Another secret area. Aha! Okay, that opens up there. So, what do I... Oh. Nightmare level. Off, please. There we go. Nothing here. We'll wait. Areas, maybe? No. No secret areas here either. Oh, wait. No, nothing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't explore this area. Let's check this out. Oh shit. There has to be, like, a secret area 
here somewhere. No? Okay, then there was really no point to that entire room. Alright, backtrack. Wait, I maxed out for it.